For me, taking walks through the forest is actually the biggest musical practice. It's so quiet, but there is so much going on, so you have to listen really carefully. If you hear the breeze going through the trees, you actually start hearing different pitches going through, and in a way it, it becomes its own symphony or its own orchestration. And the different birds have, well, it's kind of like they're in their own different echo chambers or got their own reverb going on in the forest. I guess my sound is some blend of different genres, for sure. My music grows with time. Ah, it's okay. Then we'll just use the the version without the keyboard. Okay. So okay, you wrote this this part for me. Exactly. So, I mean, there's going to be like a harmonic change in the chorus where it's like okay, basically, and then the horn in that part is supposed to be the voice that kind of gets you out of the cave. Okay. Um, so. First line is like the call is like. Doo -doo, doo -doo, mm -hmm. doo -doo. Yeah. Um, but as I said, heroic as fuck. Heroic as fuck, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <like this. laughs> Today we're going to record a song called Movie Machine, which I wrote for the upcoming album with my band, Humbler. Well, the main tracks of the band were recorded in the studio, and now we're just adding the last layers, so the overdubs, and I thought at the end of the song it would be really cool to have a horn playing, so I invited my friend Eddie, and we are currently recording in my little home. <laughs> and then we're heading out to the forest to record the horn again, but in a cave, and see what that sounds like, and how we can implement that in the production. Let's watch the dreams that will push you through life ripe like a green seen in those movies. In the music video, there is a dancer um, who dances their way out of the cave throughout the song. Come walk with me. The song being called Movie Machine. It's about being sucked into a screen or being sucked into a movie. Yeah. And to hear a friend that kind of like gets you out of the thing that you're in. No fear. The first line is one wipe at a time, like yeah. wiping off to, to, uh, to wash the dirt of your mind. Yeah. And then with a clear sight, watch it all wander as whole. One wipe at a time, 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 to wash the dirt of your mind with a clear Generally, when I record music, um, I don't just think of the instrument that I use. I also think of the rooms that I use, or the places, or the, I guess the story behind it. Because you have like in your... Is this where? Yeah.
for, for a while I lived in like a in a forest with like or in a village with like 60 people and I would spend hours just recording water streams and like all the different sounds of the forest and for example like if you listen to the stream here if you imagine it looking at it imagine you're like a tiny person living down there it's a little bit like you know you're standing in front of a giant waterfall and it's the same with recording in a way. like if I record from down here slowly becomes a waterfall. But if I record from up here, or like from here, it's just this tiny stream. But down there, in all these different microcosms, you'll find them everywhere in the forest. And it's not just visually, it's also audible. If you look at the lines and the way that the roots move, for example, even if you just think of it as a graphic notation, if you follow these roots, it's kind of like a mel it's all these different melody lines. If you follow these lines and have it move in melodic shapes, and then all of a sudden it goes up like a huge sforzando, and it all they all come together and go like, Pow! and that could be music. It is music. <laughs> Everybody's got their own views, their own clues, their own mistakes to make. Everybody's got their own views, their own truths, their own notes to weigh. As a fake one could run as fast and is as he. To get to the 